Welcome to our channel, where we're about to unveil a mesmerizing collection of rare photos featuring the beautiful women of Native America. These snapshots offer a glimpse into their rich heritage and captivating stories. Stay tuned for a visual journey like no other. Buffalo Calf Road Woman Buffalo Calf Road Woman, born into Cheyenne society in the 1850s, defied traditional gender roles as a remarkable warrior. She rose to fame during the Great Sioux War, rescuing her brother at the Battle of the Rosebud and possibly playing a role in the Battle of the Little Bighorn. Despite the defeat and forced relocation of the Cheyenne, she continued to lead women in battles against the U.S. Army. Tragically, in 1879, she was captured, imprisoned, and succumbed to disease, leading to her husband's devastating suicide. Her life exemplifies a gripping tale of courage and resilience in the face of adversity. Lozen Born around 1840 in Apache territory, Lozen stood out as the sole full-time warrior among her people. She possessed exceptional skills in marksmanship, riding, and running, along with rumored supernatural abilities like healing and enemy detection. In the late 1860s, her band faced displacement to the harsh San Carlos Reservation, sparking her involvement in conflicts. She later fought alongside Apache Chief Geronimo in the 1870s and earned the nickname, The Warrior Woman, for her fearless actions. Following Geronimo's surrender in 1886, Lozen endured imprisonment in Florida and Mount Vernon Barracks in Alabama, ultimately succumbing to tuberculosis at 50, leaving a legacy of unwavering dedication to her people amid adversity. Sarah Winnemucca Born in 1844 to the Paiute tribe, Bosi Mitoni, or Shell Flower, was the daughter of Chief Winnemucca and the granddaughter of Medicine Chief Truckee. She became a vital translator for the U.S. Indian Office, advocating for her tribe's rights. Witnessing dire conditions in Native American prisoner facilities, she exposed the disparity between American ideals and the reality for her people. Even a meeting with President Rutherford B. Hayes in 1880 couldn't prompt change. Her Impact 1883 book, Life Among the Paiutes, Their Wrongs and Claims, offered a rare first-hand look at the Paiute struggles due to white settlement. Despite her death in 1891, Winnemucca's legacy endures as a fearless advocate who highlighted the injustices faced by Native American communities. Lida Conley Lida Conley, a descendant of the Wyandotte tribe, valiantly defended the Huron Indian Cemetery against government plans to relocate it in 1906. Though she lost her Supreme Court case in 1910, her advocacy inspired change, leading to the protection of the cemetery by law. Conley's lifelong dedication to preserving this sacred site, despite facing jail time, showcases her unwavering commitment. Tragically, she met her end in a mugging in 1946, finding her eternal rest among her ancestors. Her legacy serves as a powerful testament to the enduring spirit of Native Americans in safeguarding their heritage and history. Sacagawea Sacagawea, a Shoshone woman, achieved fame as a vital guide and translator for the Lewis and Clark expedition in the early 19th century. Captured by the Hidatsa tribe as a child and later acquired by Tucson Carbonaceous, she joined the expedition after giving birth in 1805. Sacagawea displayed remarkable resourcefulness, saving important documents during a boating incident, fashioning expedition clothing, identifying edible plants, and facilitating interactions with various tribes, including her own Shoshone people. Her knowledge proved crucial in selecting winter quarters in the Pacific Northwest. Although the exact date of her death is uncertain, Sacagawea's enduring legacy in American history is undeniable, even immortalized on U.S. coinage. If you like this video make sure to subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell, until next time explore more history.